Happy Open Door Pride. Here we are, little inclement weather, so we're gonna do a lot of this inside today, but we still have a lot of live going on in Martin Park in Sturgeon Bay. If you're in the park right now, turn on Facebook. You can watch us on our Open Door Pride Facebook page, and then after our event, we're gonna have the event on our YouTube channel. But right now, it's just such a pleasure. My name is Kathy Greer. I'm the founder and the chairperson of Open Door Pride, and along with our wonderful board members and volunteers that are over there in Martin Park right now, um, we wish you all a very happy Open Door Pride Day. Going to start this off as we always do every year with the most important invocation. I'm going to bring on Colleen Bins of Chief Oshkosh in Egg Harbor. Segu, um, you want you want a gate? Niyun gets. My name is. She carries the word, so I'll try to keep it short. Um, we're going to sing a water song for you today, and. I'm going to ask Yena to come help me and my friend Casey from Egg Harbor. And then later, we're going to share the opening Thanksgiving. But before we start, I'd also like to mention that we're all allies of the pride. And we're also most Native nations looked at two-spirited people as special. And they were like more revered for their special gifts of understanding maybe two sides of something. And so maybe we should keep in mind of that so we can be more um, accepting of our differences no matter where they are. So here's a water song and the words that we're singing, it's in Mohawk and the song was written by Bear Fox and we're gonna, the words mean water we love you and water is precious. Gas nigga no loo, mm hmm. Gas nigga no loo, mm hmm. Guys, now we are here. You can lose qua onega, you can lose qua onega. Gas nigga no loo, mm hmm. Gas nigga no loo, mm hmm. Guys, now we are here. Yo, yo, boy, I hate. Yo, yo, boy, I hate. Gas nigga no loo. Enjoy the day, and we'll be back later with a little Thanksgiving or the words that come before all else. Thank you, Colleen. If you're over there in Martin Park, you'll feel that spirit because that's part of the land. That's the Graham Platte, but before that, there's many, many beautiful peoples were here. Um, thank you, Colleen. Uh, over in Martin Park, we do have our ribbon project, which is a spectacular thing. They're over there with uh, ribbons. You can write a sentiment on the river, ribbon. Also, our What's My Pride project. And then right here at noon, we will be live, uh, streaming live in the studio, the ceremony of our proclamation and Sandy Brown Award. Hope you enjoy the show. I did not ever believe there would be a pride event in Sturgeon Bay. I think it makes all of us stronger and better when everybody can be who they are, then we all get richer, we all get stronger, we all get smarter. And I just feel very grateful to all the people who have put in any effort before me to pave the way for this. And I feel like this event is part of that for the next generation. So it feels uh, very special to be here. I love seeing the young people here today. It's great. Things do change. Sometimes they change for the worse, but most often they change for the better. And I think Open Door Pride is an example of that. That's our goal, is to be inclusive and accepting of everyone. Yeah. The young people here. Yeah, the young people. It's yes. an amazing inspiration. 
I wish I had the support when I was that young. You can feel like the love and it just really like feels good for my heart. It's been exciting to see the kids who are in middle school or high school and they're running around with their pride flags on and see people who are in their 70s and that and it's just, it's been fantastic. Just, I look around here and I just think this is saving people's lives and giving them hope. It's just like life and love. It's humanity. We had a lot of fun driving around the county, taking images and pictures of the different pride flags that were flying, displays, and we want to thank all of the Door County businesses and homes that felt comfortable to finally put out that sign of welcome. That's what the pride flag means. It just means that we're all here, and we see you, and we accept you, and we're part of this big family that we have. So thank you to all those businesses. Feel free to thank those businesses when you see their flags and say thank you for flying the pride flag. June is nationally and internationally known as Pride Month. And we couldn't be more proud here at Open Door Pride to share with you a video of the montage with a song written by Holly Ohm. After a friend of mine had her flag stolen from her front porch and I wrote this song. And so we're gonna do it. and. And uh, celebrate it, so, ready? One, two, three. Well, you can take my flag, but you can't take my pride. You can't take the person that lives deep inside. You think stealing a symbol steals my hope, oh no. Well, I got news for you, it won't. Well, you can take my faith, but you can't take my pride. You can't take the person that lives deep inside. You think stealing a symbol steals my hope. Oh no. Well, I've got news for you. It won't. Oh no. I've got news for you. It won't. Oh no. I've got news for you. It won't. Thank you. <laughs> I got an email from somebody who said they had a son who wasn't quite sure how he fit in life. And that is how songs get written, folks. We take words right out of your mouth and we put it into song. I see your face in the mirror, staring back at me. I see the things you don't want to see. There's power deep inside Those people don't see you Not the way that I do There's perfection inside of you But you still have to lie When you show us on the outside What you've been hiding too long it's a hard road we have to follow There's a short bridge Between fear and acceptance Just know that I am here on the other side I'm here on the other side You're not quite sure Classify, classify. 
between fear and acceptance. Between fear and acceptance, fear and acceptance, just know that we are here on the other side. I am here on the other side. There's a short bridge uh -oh. between fear and acceptance. team of Northern Sky Theater's new musical, Not Even Remotely, and we want to wish you a happy Pride! Woo! Yes! Hello. <laughs> happy Pride, everyone! Woo! Hey, y'all. It's Ray Senariki, a.k.a. Trans Painter. I'm here with my billboard, just wanting to wish y'all up in Door County a uh, happy Pride and tell you you are loved. Ciao tutti! Hello everyone! My name is Giovanni Contrato. I am the Italian singer up at Villaggios in Egg Harbor. I'd like to sing you an Italian song. <laughs> When the spoon tells over, and then the pizza to the door, the first to the second, and you lay the shingle on the bar and floor. O campagnola bella, tu sei la reginella, negli occhi tuoi c'è il sole, c'è il colore delle viole, delle valle tutte in fior. Se cade la tua voce, un'armonia di pace, che si diffonde, chi ci sei vuoi vivere felice, deve vivere così. Ciao a tutti! Open Door Pride and we wish them the greatest success on their special day. Northeast Wisconsin Center for Love and Dignity is proud to support Open Door Pride for 2021. Come visit us online and on Facebook. Hi, everybody. We're the No Name Ukulele Band. We'd like to be with you in person. Next year, we hope to see you all. <laughs> Happy Pride! From P-Flag, Door County. Have a safe summer.
We'll see you next year. PFLAG Door County is an official chapter of PFLAG National since 1997. We provide support, advocacy, and education for parents, family, friends, and allies of the LGBTQ community here in Door County. Happy Pride from Destination Sturgeon Bay. Woo! Happy Pride from Destination Door County. Happy Pride from Destination Door County. Happy, Happy Pride. Pride from Destination Door County. It gets better. You are not alone. And so I can now say that I'm queer and proud. Those things that people tease me about, they are absolutely true. And they're what make me <laughs> fabulous and amazing. There are so many people out there that want to love and support you. So just look for that community. You can find people. It's going to be OK. I promise that it gets better. I know because I am you. To see a viral campaign promoted and covered on MTV was really meaningful. It helped me get into LGBT activism. Working with It Gets Better made me feel so confident. It made me feel like I had allies and thank everybody who has ever made an It Gets Better video because you have made a difference in somebody's life. It Gets Better inspires all young people to accept themselves. It has helped countless insecure boys and girls become confident men and women. These moments, if you allow them to, can strengthen your character and strengthen who you are as a person. It's important for us to tell our stories and, and to be vocal because this is how we affect the community. You don't have to tell me I'm worthy anymore. We know we're worthy. How can you possibly not be right if this is who you are? And someday, people are going to see that. You have to know that. No one should ever feel alone. No one should ever feel alone. One, two, three, four, down. If you feel a little down on the side, try to run and get to yourself. No one should ever feel alone. No one should ever feel alone. One, two, three, four. Don't be cool. Friends are 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 cool. Friends Magic rules. Hi, I'm Lily. 
I'm the secretary of this basketball saga, which was just recently officially approved. So we are working to make our community and school a sacred place for the LGBTQ plus community. Hi, my name is Bianca. Um, I am the president of Sevastopol Saga. Um, we created this group and really kind of jumped at this opportunity because of the immense amount of bullying that we saw at our school and really kind of in the area. Um, we couldn't let these issues be unaddressed. So Saga stands for Sexuality and Gender Alliance, which really creates includence for everybody. Whoever wants to be a supporter, doesn't matter who they are. Really, these are the steps to acceptance. These are these steps to making the world a better place and having people just be who they are and who they want to be. Um. <laughs> Hello. Greetings, friends, allies, and my queer family. My name is Morgan Greathouse. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and they, them, theirs. And I am here today in your viewing receptacle um, to thank you for finding your way to this Open Door Pride Festival and to share with you an excerpt of a piece of performance art that I wrote. I know the stories of girls like me. I know that I am scared beyond words and that fear is real. I'm not making that up. I try to look nonchalant as I clench my teeth, my fists, my entire body on public transport. Do they see the trans girl I do? Do they smell my fear? It's just public transit, but why can't it be more? Why can't it take us beyond points A and B? I want it to take us into the unknown night, but not in that scary way where we clutch tightly to our pepper spray. I want the bus driver to be a kind, old stone with steel blue hair and a cracked leather complexion that has seen the brutality of police raids on lesbian bars in a time when transgender really meant transgression and folks barely knew how to use the word for themselves. I want sequins and stilettos, button-ups and docks, and I want that to not define a rigid binary. On this bus to nowhere and everywhere, across towns and across binaries, I want a space where we won't be fetishized or fixed. I want a space where we can unburden ourselves and take off the armor we have wrapped ourselves in. To walk the world armored means you are terrified and do not trust the world around you, and I am terrified of men I do not know. And to walk unarmored, that is to be vulnerable and unguarded. To walk unarmored is to not need it anymore. The armor is heavy and burdensome and laden with the fears of a trans nation. And while it can feel lonely bearing it, I am not yet ready to part with it. But on this bus, to nowhere and everywhere, across towns and across binaries, we can loosen the fastens of our plate armor, and together we can ride into the dusk, knowing that even though the sun will set soon, we will live to see her rise again. The day may very well come where the sun does not rise. But that day was not today. So for today, I practice joy in the song I sing and rejoice in the life that I've been given and the small 
portion of stardust placed into my care for just a small while. I practice gratitude for what hard-won privileges I do have, privileges won by the hands of Black Thems and generations of the trans spirit that would not give up. I practice love for this body as I am relearning my relationship to it and its relationship to the world around it. And I practice love for my partner, without whom I would not be where I am today. I love you. My confidence is my armor, yes, and so is my joy, so is my gratitude, so is my love. I fortify my armor with the parts I have reclaimed. Thank you. by Dorothy. Why do you think it's especially important for people to see like members of the church like yourself, um, you know, supporting supporting the LGBTQ members of our community? Um, that's a tough question uh, because I think that uh, from a Christianity standpoint that it should be the obvious truth that we should just love and welcome all. Um, however, there is um, not a lot of people that do that and a lot of people have been uh, completely hurt by pastors and churches and so I tried to uh, use the opportunity to uh, shower a glimmer of light into it to let people know that there are uh, churches there are pastors that will um, welcome you and not change you and allow you to be the individual that God has created you. Why is it important for you to share these stories? Oh wow I mean it's just important to show people who are watching the news, just viewers in general, that there are people like you out there. And if you haven't felt represented in the past or you feel like the media hasn't given, you know, your sexual identity, your gender identity, um, you know, whatever it is, enough representation in the past that we are really trying to lift your voices up however we can. And that's my job. And um, it just makes me feel really good to do that. <laughs>
what we needed to, to do by forming a pride organization was just to show the ordinary citizens. And how do you start by showing what ordinary citizens are as you go to your elected officials and you say, would you proclaim this day our day? So I'm going to share the Ganahela Duxla, or the words that come before all else. And Haudenosaunee are people of the longhouse. When we gather, we say these words to wrap our minds as one, so we can all think about what's important at the time. And basically, it starts from the ground up. And then at the end, if you forget anything, you kind of ask for forgiveness, because everyone has their own version of the story and their own way of saying it in the language. And since I'm not a speaker, I'll try to inject words where I can remember them. But this book was written by Chief Jake Swamp, and he was Mohawk, and it's illustrated by Irwin Printup Jr. So, to be a human being, Ongwe Hongwe, is an honor, and we offer thanksgiving for all the gifts of life. Mother Earth, Yunkinuha Ohunja, we thank you for giving us everything we need. Thank you, deep blue waters, Othniganas, around Mother Earth, for you are the force that takes thirst away from all living things. We give thanks to the green grasses, Oneglisu, that feel so good against our bare feet for the cool beauty you bring to Mother Earth's floor. Thank you, good foods from Mother Earth, our life sustainers, Asanate Gundah Nundale, corn beans and squash, for making us happy when we're hungry. Fruits and berries, gahik. We thank you for your color and sweetness, and we are thankful to good medicine, Onungwat, herbs for healing us when we are sick. Beautiful, colorful illustrations. Thank you to all the animals, Gundili, in the world for keeping our precious forest clean. All the trees in the world, we are thankful for the shade and warmth you give us. Thank you to all the birds, Ojita Sioux, in the world for singing your beautiful songs for all to enjoy. We give thanks to the gentle four winds Awela Sioux, for bringing clean air for us to breathe from the four directions. Thank you, Grandfather Thunder Beings, Ladisu Gayondeze, for bringing the rains for all living things to grow. I love that word. Elder Brother Sun, we send thanks for shining your light and warming Mother Earth. Now, butterfly. Thank you, Grandmother Moon, Wait Needle, for growing full every month to light the darkness for children and sparkling waters. We give you thanks, twinkling stars, Yoji Stokwalu for making the night sky so beautiful and for sprinkling the morning dew on the plants. Spirit protectors of our past, Gayun Gwedege and present, we thank you for showing us the ways to live in peace, skana, and harmony with one another. And most of all, thank you, Sungwayadisu, Great Spirit, for giving us all these wonderful gifts so that we will be happy and healthy every day and every night. Yawanko, Ona. Here we are again. This whole live thing, we're, we're figuring it out. We're going to have our proclamation soon. We're going to figure out what we can cut to next as far as um, having an amazing live stream. So 
Aaron's at the board and Mark, and we want to thank them all here at Prana Studio and how how great it is that we have this amazing studio right here in, in Sturgeon Bay. And I want to thank all of the different businesses that flew flags throughout the county. Amazing to see such a, a show of pride and thank them. It's really important to do that. Um, that means welcome. And we're, we're about to go live to our proclamation. We've got wonderful uh, council members from the city of Sturgeon Bay. It's, it's so important. We've, we've had this award now since 2017 when we started. And I know we've got some video about that. And I think we can cut to that video about the proclamations. And uh, if not, I'm just going to keep winging it because that's what I do. TQ plus people have rights. We're here, we need to be seen, we need to be respected. Now, therefore, I, Kelly Caterizzoli, on behalf of Mayor Thad Birmingham of the city of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim that June 24th, 2017, shall be known as Open Door Pride Day in the city of Sturgeon Bay. I, Thad Birmingham, Mayor of Sturgeon Bay of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim that in the city of Sturgeon Bay, the week of June 18th through 24th, 2018, shall be known as Open Door Pride Week. I, David Hayes, Alderman for Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim that in the city of Sturgeon Bay, the week of June 16th to the 22nd, 2019, shall be known as Open Door Pride Pride Week. We were supposed to have a Pride Day today. Gorgeous day. Would have been our fourth annual. And we've got a proclamation from the city. Signed by David Mayor Ward. Door County is very blessed to have this event and many more to come. We did it. It's the baby steps, folks. It really is the baby steps. I heard from somebody that they were having problems with the audio. I assure you that we will fix all of this at the end of our wonderful day and put it together with proper editing for our YouTube channel. So we'll fix any of these audio glitches. And a big, again, thanks to Aaron uh, for, for putting up with my crazy production notes and uh, all the wonderful people that are in Martin Park in the rain and making ribbons and sentiments that we hang on a, on a rope and what's my pride project. And the importance of Open Door Pride is that we are here 365 days out of the year. Our purpose is to show that we are all part of this wonderful family. And uh, it's just been a joy over the past five years to see how we've grown from people not so sure of what a pride was because they may, might have seen some parade in Chicago or Milwaukee or New York. And it's important to understand why there is a pride. There is a historical aspect to that. And yes, it was a riot because homosexuality back in the day was illegal. And there were people that just said, we've had enough. And here we are all these years later and we celebrate pride. And it is something that I'm very proud about when I moved to Sturgeon Bay and asked people, what can we do? And so we just thought we'd put a picnic on in Martin Park. And five years later, Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, we've had to try this live stream, and we thank you for your patience in dealing with that as we get to um, our dignitaries being here to present us with not just words. They're, they matter when you have a proclamation from your elected officials. And so I hope that we have um, the video ready of the proclamations that we put together and if not, we'll just uh, hang out with our, our beautiful logo. And um, I could keep blabbing. I mean, that's, 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 here we go. We got some people here. <laughs> well, you're, it's live. This is what live is all about. So we're going to be um, asking our older people to come in and, um, uh, give us this award. We've got it. Actually, I'm seeing an audience coming in here. You can't see them, but I can see them. And I'm seeing the screen where 
I'm live on Facebook, folks. This is really thrilling. Um, talk a little bit more about Open Door Pride and the importance. I've got our treasurer right here, Steve Makovic. Why don't you come over here? Come on. This is this is the fun. How's it over in the park? We are doing wonderful in the park. We have a lot of people visiting us. You can do the Rainbow Project, or you can sign a, a ribbon, and you can write anything that you want on the ribbon. We also have a chalkboard. You can do what, what's my pride and talk about why you're prideful and who you're prideful for. We have different pride uh, merchandise that we're selling. I have my Open Door Pride pen on. Okay. We're, we're an Open Door Pride merch right here, right. advertisement. Um, what What is your pride besides, you know, having clean glasses? No, yes, sorry. right now I love clean glasses. <laughs> being accepted who you are and not what you are and being and accepting everybody regardless of race, color, religion, just being accepted and inclusion for all. Well, thank you. And that's, that's our mission, inclusivity and diversity for all. And if, I'm sure you just look around a room or right here, you just see humanity. And that's what we want to do here at Open Door Pride. Um, I, I have to say that there's, there's other people here. If anybody else wants to come up to the microphone, since we're doing live stream live, we, we kind of went through a lot of our videos. And, well, I also uh, think we also have another member of Open Door Pride. Jared, you want to come join us? It's gonna, he's going to be coming up later, but if you want to come just over come and just... Just come up with us? I know you're very comfortable on camera. <laughs> we're we're, we're going to be honoring Jared in a little bit, but uh, why, why is it important for you to have Open Door Pride? Well, I just think that pride in itself is such a wonderful celebration all around the country and around the world. But to have it here in Door County in such a small town with such a welcoming community and just to show everyone that, you know, pride exists everywhere, small towns, big cities, rural communities. So that's wonderful. We love you for starting well, this. Well, thank you very much. It takes a village. Everyone's a part of it. Anybody else want to, since we're live here, anybody want to say something about pride? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Hello, Kathy. I am Carl Whitford, and I am so blessed to see what has happened in this community in the last five years. And a lot of it is because of you and some other people in the community that has come forward. I have lived in this community all of my life, and I have endured some uh, homophobic issues. And it's great to see things changing. It's great to see uh, a new uh, staff at the justice system, etc. So we have, and the, the aldermen and the community here in Sturgeon Bay, the arts that have come, it's all been so incredible. I'm so proud of what's been happening. Well, thank you. You've been part <laughs> of that. Um, are, we, are we close to being able to do the proclamation now? I'm looking at all these beautiful people over here. And wait, Ed, Ed DeMaio, come on, Ed. We're, we're, we're going to we have Carl and Ed. Yeah, this is awesome. And um, usually when I moved, I moved to, I moved to uh, the Midwest in 92, and um, it's always been a challenge. And uh, the things that have happened in the last five years have made great inroads for just education being and bringing a sense of peace and a sense of uh, calmness to what can be a pretty volatile situation. And um, it's been a blessing, because one of the things that I really missed Coming to the Midwest was was more more acceptance and more openness, and uh, this has done a great made great strides in doing that here in such a beautiful place. So really Indeed. blessed for and thankful for everyone involved. It's been and great. your help is amazing. Thank you. Well, here we go. We'll we'll bring our wonderful alder people to our amazing Open Door Pride. This logo was designed by uh, Nancy. Atten and Dan Collins, and they made our screen, our shirts, and it's been amazing to honor them. And look at these beautiful people behind. Hi, I'm Helen Bacon. I represent District 1, which is the district up from the shipyard. And Sturgeon, the city of Sturgeon Bay, the proclamation this year reads, 
whereas lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, and asexual citizens and citizens of all orientations and identities work and live with pride in all of Door County and the city of Sturgeon Bay. And whereas many LGBTQIA plus people are visitors too and are welcomed in Sturgeon Bay each year. Hi, I'm Dan Williams. I'm District Alderman for District 3 and the Council President. Whereas LBGTQIA plus citizens, visitors have had immeasurable impact on the culture, civic, and economic success of our community. And whereas LBGTQIA citizens of Sturgeon Bay have historically faced significant challenges as they strive toward equality. It is essential to acknowledge that the need for education and awareness remains vital to end discrimination and prejudice. All right, Spencer Gustin, I represent District 4, Sturgeon Bay. All right, um, L whereas LGBTQIA plus citizens deserve to know their city stands beside them embraces this opportunity to take action and engage in dialogue to strengthen alliances, build acceptance, and advance equal rights. And whereas the city of Sturgeon Bay endeavors to be a safe, supportive, and welcoming place, free from discrimination for all, of, for all to live, work, and visit. Seth Wieteranders, District 6. Whereas all citizens, citizens of Sturgeon Bay affirm and take pride in the breadth and diversity of their community and celebrate what is held in common and in difference. Now, therefore, I am not David J. Ward, but this is what it says here. Mayor, <laughs> Mayor and Council of the City of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, do hereby proclaim in support of our LGBTQQIA plus community that in the city of Sturgeon Bay, the month of June 2021 shall be known as Open Door Pride Month. Thank you. Thank you. It's so empowering. I, I, I'm one of those people that rarely cry, and this month I've cried three times. So that is, it means the world. Th that proclamation would not have happened without Kelly Catarazzoli, who at the time in 2017 was our alder person, who said to the mayor, you've got to do this. And it was her fierceness that brought this together. And I want to bring her up, because she's, she's back there. I just saw her. So Kelly, come on, Kelly. This is Kelly Catarazzoli. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm gonna oh. give you the microphone. You're tall. Well, thanks Kathy, I can take this off. I'm just so proud of what Open Door Pride has done for this community. You and a bunch of other people have done so much work here and it's really amazing. And this year to see the pride flags all over Door County is awesome. Good job. <laughs> You've been an amazing ally, and I also know that we've got a very, very special person here that um, would like to introduce um, our representative from the State Assembly, Jill Kitchens. Hi, it's great to be here today. Um, I guess I'd like to say first off that I think sometimes we're afraid to fully acknowledge the progress we've made as a society because we're sort of afraid it will be interpreted that, you know, the war is over, there's not more to be done. And I think, to me, Pride Month is about, you know, all of us being able to have pride in who we, who we really are and not have to pretend we're something that we're not. So I hope over the next month, though, over this month, you will take some time to celebrate and have pride in everything that's been accomplished because, honestly, not very many years ago, something like this would have been unimaginable. So I have a citation from the State Assembly. Whereas Open Door Pride was co-founded by Kathy Greer, Bill Gartner, and Meg Farley in 2017 to create an environment in which LGBTQ residents and visitors to Door County felt safe and welcome, and whereas Open Door Pride hosted its first Pride Festival in Martin Park in June 2018 after Sturgeon Bay's mayor declared Open Pride Week, 
And whereas Open Door Pride has since begun to create monthly events in which LGBTQ plus individuals, their friends and allies could gather in a welcoming place, and whereas Open Door Pride received commendation from Mayor David Ward in 2021 when the city of Sturgeon Bay issued a proclamation declaring Open Door Pride Month, thus affirming the organization's commitment to strengthening alliances, building acceptance, and advancing equal rights. And therefore, Representative Joel Kitchens, along with Governor Tony Evers, Assembly Speaker Robin Voss, and Speaker Pro Tem Tyler August, hereby commends Open Door Pride for its outstanding service and the lasting impact it has made in Door County for LGBT. LGBTQ plus activism and community support. Thanks. Words do matter. They really do matter. And on behalf of the entire Open Door Pride team in our community, we thank you. This is an important thing for us to have these proclamations. And then the next step is that we urge our elected officials to speak of our voice. So that's what pride is all about. Then we have this awesome part of our show, which is, I, I'm a musician, I call things a show, but this event, this very important festival, we give an award out every single year, and we're going to run some tape about that. Open Door Pride Committee can think of no better recipient for our first visionary award, recognizing contributions to the community. In fact, she is such a stellar example of what this award embodies that the award will now be called the Sandy Brown Award. This is Sandy Brown. We named our award after Sandy Brown because she exemplified that exact mission starting PFLAG back in the late 90s. And because we also have a community filled with amazing artists, we also decided that every year we would ask a local artist to design our award, very unique. And this year, Chelsea Littman designed this beautiful award that we would like to present to Emily Salm of the Diversity Acceptance Alliance Club. We honor you in accepting this Sandy Brown Award. Incredible aspect of bringing truth into people's lives safely through, through theater. Sandy, to get to you. Happy to put your hand There's As last year's proud recipient of the Sandy Brown Award, all of us here at TAP congratulate this year's honoree, Right On Door County. Jared Santak and the entire staff and board of Right On Door County have all made it one of the most unique cultural organizations in the county. It is most appropriate on this day celebrating pride that we recognize our pride in the accomplishments of this very special group of people. So. 
Congratulations, right on Door County. And a big thank you to Open Door Pride and this wonderful festival honoring diversity through inclusion for all in Door County. Happy Pride, everyone. Happy Pride. We're live. Here we are. Well, um, do we have the uh, Third Avenue Playhouse video go? I, w I wasn't able to see that. Yes. So you know that Third Avenue Playhouse had our award last year. It was designed by the Ellison Bay Pottery. I just want to show you the actual award. It's That's the thing why we honor artists that can create these beautiful awards for us. And the beauty is, is that not only do they make one, but they make a second one. So Open Door Pride has it forever so we could share it with you. This is last year's. The year before was Chelsea Lippman created this piece that was given to the uh, Diversity Acceptance Alliance in uh, Gibraltar. And it's a beautiful piece. Again, celebrating our artists is really important. And then our first year was created by Jeremy Papelka, artist. And that was given to this wonderful woman that we named the award for. So without further ado, this is uh, Steve Makovic again, and he's going to say something about this award. Each year since the award's conception in 2018, Open Door Pride has chosen an individual or organization within our community demonstrating a commitment to the LGBTQIA plus inclusion and visibility to receive the Sandy Brown Award. Named after a founder of the local chapter of PFLAG, thank you, Sandy, who embodies the spirit of equality and inclusivity that we wish to convey in our community. This year's recipient is an org organization that has demonstrated significant commitment to inclusion and vis visibility for both the LGBTQIA plus and the BIPOC writers presenting programs within our community and online to foster their creative passion and expression through uplifting diverse and voices and helping them be heard and seen, this organization has helped to strengthen our community and bring in one step closer to our goal of diversity through inclusion for all. It is our honor and privilege to present the 2021 Sandy Brown Award to Right On Door County. Thank you all, and Miles, Miles Dan Housen is our board president. I'd like to share this with him. So, Miles, we are honored to receive this award. Um, thank you all to Open Door, Open Door Pride for all that you do. I know that this has been a challenging year to plan a festival and not knowing what the health situation will be. You know, at our age, we're not, this is not our first pandemic. Kathy and I, we've been through the AIDS pandemic and uh, just thank you for keeping the community safe. That means a lot. And uh, we're, we're very honored at Right On. We believe in that everyone has a story to tell and believe in the power of story to change lives and to save lives. So this award means a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. The artist this year is Stephanie Trencher. Do you want to show it, the front and back of it? It's absolutely beautiful. No, I'm afraid of dropping it. <laughs> it is beautiful, and I think Stephanie is here. I saw her earlier, but it's a special honor to have had her design this award for us, so. On with the pride, everyone. We've got a lot more videos. We've got amazing videos coming up. We still have another hour to go. And thank you all for your patience with our syncing and live stream issues. And that's how we do it around here. We're, I think we're still live, so I'm just going to keep talking. And remember that we are here. 365 days out of the year, Open Door Pride, we could use more volunteers. We need you. It's how we grow. 
we started with a very few people and and now we're growing little bits by little bits and all of you out there means the world to us if you would like to join us and what does that mean when people say well i'm i'm an ally how can i join an lgbt group um, and we say because you're part of us we're all part of you and the more people that we have that speaks of your voice then we're connected if we're always here and here we're never going to connect and that's the point. The reason why Pride started is because the LGBTQ community was saying, we're not being seen. As a matter of fact, we're being discriminated against. We are, we are being bullied. We are being cast aside. We have families that don't support us. We have friends that don't uh, fear us. And a party was made. And it wasn't an inclusive party. You're not involved or not invited. We invite you all into our party. Just invite us into yours.
The importance of sharing the stories of queer youth, youth in general, is really important. And I think that we look to the young people to help guide us in a direction that we're heading in that's really empowering. But that doesn't take away from the fact that teen suicide and youth suicide is, is very high. And we want to empower children and give them strength to become the adults that we really want in our society. And there's nobody better to tell those stories than Celeste Lacine, who began the Trevor Project years ago, and now is working on a new project called the Future Perfect Project, where they've paired up animators with y youth. I reached out to Celeste, and they were so incredibly welcoming to provide us with the next following videos. Enjoy. Hello, Open Door Pride. Uh, my name is Celeste Lacine, and I'm so happy to be here with you virtually. Uh, I am the co-founder of The Trevor Project, which as you probably know, is the only 24 seven suicide prevention and crisis intervention lifeline for LGBT and questioning young people. Uh, we've been around for over 20 years. Uh, Saving Young Lives. It's an amazing organization. Um, please check it out and make it available to all the young people in your community. And I'm also the co-founder of an organization that I started more recently called the Future Perfect Project. We are a national arts organization and we believe that the self-expression of LGBT and allied youth is a declaration of a better future for us all. Where queer youth are safe, seen, and celebrated, everybody does better. Um, so we provide workshops, free workshops around the country, uh, getting young people to tell their story and also to create songs. And it's been an amazing, amazing journey. And I'm gonna share with you some of the work that we've created. One of the things that we decided to do this year when we went into lockdown because of COVID was to see what we could do about amplifying the voices of young queer and allied youth. And we basically handed them the mic and then paired them up with an animator and had them tell their own story and tell us what it's like for them to be themselves in 2021. So I hope you enjoy it. The series is called How Life Is, uh, because really for them, this is just how life is. And you'll get a little peek at how life is. And if you wanna see some more, you can go to our Instagram, which is at the Future Perfect Project, or you can check us out. We have a channel on YouTube and you can see all the whole first season of these two minute animations. Enjoy and really have such a great, wonderful pride celebration. Be proud of yourselves for the work you're doing and tell your story. It's important that people know who you are. Bye. My name is Ken, my pronouns are they, them, and I am 18 years old. I remember in sophomore year, it was like the first time I went to GSA. Our GSA advisor, she asked us like, what was the most intimate thing you could do? And everyone was like, oh, it's sex and all this other stuff. And I sat there and I was like, holding hands. Because to me, that's like the most intimate thing you can do with your partner. Because like, if you're doing it in public, it's like, you're declaring like, this, this is me, this is like who I'm with. And it's just like so intimate to me, like, because it's so hard to hold someone's hand in public. I hold hands with my friends that are females and like they're just having the time of their life and they're going on about some story and I'm half listening because I'm looking at everyone who's staring, what their faces are doing. I hate that I do that, but like you can't help it as a queer person. Visibility in the queer community is kind of like giving up your personal civic life for the push for safety for another person's and to show them that you can be who you are. This is normal, you like you don't have to change. And I love that. Love definitely is a superpower. 
For me, at least, I want to wear my heart on my arm, not on my sleeve, because it's something that I don't want to remove. And I want it there because it's mine and it's nobody else's and you can't take it away from me. And I just want to like give that love to anyone and everyone. I want people to know that you have this love and this beautiful view of the world. It's amazing to share the importance of our youth in Door County, and this person has really exemplifies that. Cole Mallion was on our stage in 2017, and he provided us with a video for you today. Hi, I'm Cole Mallion, and today I'm just gonna talk. So in preparation for this, I was wondering what, what can I do? Um, and I thought to myself, how can I speak at a Pride event if Pride is the very thing I struggle with? And so I thought, oh, I'll just talk about that. So I grew up in the church. Um, and so I already had this fear of hell embroiled in me. Um, it was also a church that compared pedophilia to homosexuality, um, which destroyed me. I also had um, parents of other kids and those kids tell me that I was too dramatic, um, too feminine, too gay. Um, and so I started to build from a young age um, this internalized homophobia. Um, and I dealt with it for a very long time. Um, but this past year, um, I met a friend who was a gay Christian, which is like a unicorn seeing its own version of a unicorn. And he said that if he was going to hell, it wasn't going to be because he was gay. Which, and he also reminded me that in the Christian Bible, all sin is seen as the same. No one sin is greater than the other. And so the thing with homosexuality is people are just uncomfortable with the idea, not that it's this bad, evil sin. And from that, I started to understand wow, I can let go this internalized homophobia, or at least start to, because yes, for the longest time, I was uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable with my femininity. I am uncomfortable with my dramaticness. I am uncomfortable with me being gay. And so it, ta it took this kind of understanding and love of myself and appreciation of who I am to kind of move past that. I still deal with it every day. Um, it's something I do wake up with because I did grow up in the church and this fear of hell is still there, um, but it's less, which is good. Um, and if I may continue the whole understanding and love to fight internalized homophobia, in my opinion, I think it's also how we fight homophobia in the world. We can't beat them into submission, into liking us or trusting us. Unfortunately, it takes love and understanding them, no matter how hippy-dippy that sounds. So, in preparation for this, I also got dolled up. It's been a couple of years since I went this far with makeup, but I'm happy I came back. I got uncomfortable um, buying it because I was the only one um, in the makeup aisle where there was just like five women. And I was just so scared that they were going to look at me and be like, ah. Oh, um, <clears throat> but I think that was important for me to move through. Um, no, I'm done talking. Have a wonderful rest of your pride. And love and accept yourself. Love and understand yourself. Bye. I'm, well, 17. I use he, him, or they, them pronouns. I live in Minneapolis, and I'm bi. Having to hide part of yourself for so long really makes you appreciate when you don't have to hide it. The summer before my sophomore year of high school, I was talking with my mom and she was like, your sister is graduating. Is there anything that you would want to do differently when it's just us at the house? And I started thinking about the places that I would want to go. And I knew that I wanted to be in a city because I wanted to be somewhere where there were people like me 
because I had never experienced that before. Like in the time that I lived in Lafarge, Wisconsin, I heard the F slur every single day, like every day. And there would never be any kind of like retribution for that. Like people would say it in front of the teachers and the teachers would laugh. I constantly felt like I had to hide. And even if I was like talking with the other queer kids, we could never openly discuss what it was like for us. Coming to Minneapolis was so important. We went on a tour of South, my high school. And like, from the moment that I stepped in, I was like, oh, this is my home. This is where I should be. The connections and relationships that I'm building are going to be with me for the rest of my life. Everyone should be allowed to express who they are without fear of retaliation. For a long time, for me, identity meant something that was not right within myself and something that I couldn't actually show. Now I exist as openly as I can because I don't want to go back. My name is Brianna. I'm currently in Philadelphia. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm 17. Being a woman, and being black, and being bisexual makes me want to be more outspoken about it, simply because it's like not enough people know about people like me. So every chance I get, I'm telling people I'm bi. If you just look at my Instagram story, it's just black after gay after feminist posts. It's just back to back. The last thing I want black queer women to feel like is like they aren't good enough. If I can do my part just by speaking up and being like strong about who I am, that in itself gives other queer black women the chance to do that, like unspoken permission to do the same. Like we don't have to hide all the time because the world is constantly telling us we're not good enough for not being exotic enough, for not being light skin enough. This sounds pretty straightforward, but my favorite part about being gay is being gay. I love like seeing other gay couples in public. It makes me not as afraid to hold my girlfriend's hand. And I hope that the gay couples out there who I stare at know that I'm not being homophobic. I'm really just looking at you and loving your gay aura. And I'm just appreciating you. And I just want you to know that I'm gay. I'm trying to send you gay signals so that you know. <laughs> I love just being around women and the comfort I find in having my girlfriend and how supportive she is. And I feel understood all the time because it's like, she gets it. She's like me. I'm so thrilled to be sharing this part with you, Betty. Hello, Betty. They are an amazing trio of powerhouse women. I don't even need to introduce them. I just thank them for being a part of our Open Door Pride. Betty. Baked cake, baked cake, baked cake. 
Like if I knew you were coming out of Bake to Cake Bake to Cake, Bake to Cake Who's proud today? I'm proud today You're proud today Let's love all the way Love all the way Clap your hands Way up high Shout it out Happy Pride Clap your hands Way up high Shout it out Happy Pride Who's proud today? I'm proud today You're proud today Let's love all the way Love all the way for 35 years all over the world. And when our friend Kathy Greer told us about Open Door Pride in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, we got thrilled because Wisconsin is going to be so important in next year's election. Mm -hmm. And here's a song that says exactly how we feel about being with you in the fight for equality. Speaking of being with you, we can't help and wait. We're so excited about being with you in person in 2022. <laughs> in the meantime, happy Open Door Pride from Betty. Rock on, everybody. We are in this together. We are in this together. Money's tight. I don't care As long as we are In this together Do your dreams Fade in the night Keep believing It's alright It's alright It's alright We are in this together, we are in this together. Danger worlds in the air, overwhelm. I don't care as long as we are in this together. If change is worth a fight. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright Hold, 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 hold on Through the dusk till dawn Side by side, by side, by side, by side, by side. We are in this. We are in this. We are. We are in this together. We are in 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 in this together. We really hit a turning point in Door County this year, and it's it's just so incredible to see the love, the outpouring of love. We've we've had the hate. We've we've had decades and years of the hate. We're we're happy to reach out to those that are still looking for that opening. We ask you to just have an open mind. The most important thing is. You understand this is not a choice. This isn't a lifestyle. 
With what we have to go up against in the world, why would we want to do that if it wasn't incredibly imperative to be who we are? It's been a great pride for a non-pride <laughs> festival. Next year, we're going to be in Martin Park. We're going to have a really great party. I know we are. I want to thank Betty. Indeed, we are in this together. They're an amazing group out of New York City. I'm, I'm very honored to be able to call them my friends. We've sung together. We've marched together. We've rocked together. And they were so generous to give us all those amazing, the amazing footage. So thank you, Betty. We are in this together. Looking into your eyes, I see only agony. Stop to realize you make life what it can be. You took a wrong turn left, you should have turned on right. Well, I just want you to see you don't have to fight. In my emptiness, but don't you dare look at me Searching all around, real love will be found Looking for inner peace, will I find a release? Please, just don't break your promises to me Plus, you always seem to catch me at my very weakest Guess it's kinda easy when you know all of my secrets Have I grown all alone with our fear? I'm beside it, was you that branded me? When there's nothing I could hide, drink, sleep at night 
Chinese smoke for that habitat. Broken all empty home. Start a fresh up, built a throne. Dog and fence. Who's the talking? We get up and start walking. Working for the better day. Heaven each and every day. Heaven wasn't built in just one day. No way. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for that. Heaven wasn't built in just one day. next year in Martin Park, June 25th. Thank you all. The troublemakers, everyone. Here we are. Optical Illusion. I just finished playing my song, and here I are with the, the team. And our new member, this is Owen, who started the Northern Door Pride, and that was a great success. Thank you very much for that. Thank you all for watching. Happy Pride. Happy Pride.